Okay, it's just a reading here. Today's date is March 18th, 2024. The time for me is 2.16 a.m. This is a brand new Pisces reading. No projecting, a clear understanding, a truthful understanding now. The reading may resonate with you and it may not take what it is, leave the rest. Only my angels and ancestors are allowed to this reading. I'm about to get ready and do for y'all. Happy birthday, March 18th, Pisces. If you're coming back here, if you're new, welcome. My allergies are kicking up, y'all. I don't know why, so maybe this reading is going to be deep. So let's see what's going on. We ain't going to waste no time, no bullshit, no games, no gimmicks. Sun, moon, and rising for Pisces. All right. Let's go ahead and split the deck like that. Okay, see, like these cards are like they want to come out. Let me go ahead and show y'all that these is not in reverse. I'm going to start doing that as well. Because you know, people be doing these reversals. And I don't be doing that. They just be coming out like that naturally. So here we go for Pisces. Oh, shoot. Y'all hear me sneezing, coughing, and blowing my nose? I'm sorry. First card for Pisces. All right, you got a three of swords came out of reverse. Hangman in reverse. Damn. There go your energy right there. I feel a strong energy tonight. You got the higher font. Heavenly Father, protect me with the blood of Jesus. Damn, these is all coming out in reverse. You got judgment coming out in reverse. You got the Ten of Wands. Go ahead and make these a little bit more straight for y'all. Dogs out there barking like they crazy. Should I move these over for y'all? I'm sorry. Y'all, I love this damn rug. It's so soft. Mm. All right. <clears throat> you got the Eight of Wands. Eight of Cups. You got the Page of Pentacles that, you know, slid out. With the King of Wands at the bottom. All right, so you got a lot of reversals here. And we're going to figure out why. You got one, two, three. One, two, three, four reversals here. So we about to go ahead and get into it and see why these reversals came out like this. See what's really going on here. So three of swords in reverse is it's it's more like uh forgiveness and moving on here, recovering from something. So maybe y'all recovering from, you know, what happened to y'all in the past here. Maybe you guys are coming to terms like, okay, yeah, it, it happened and it's cool, but it's you know, it it, 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 it is time to move on. So maybe it's just, you know, you guys are now realizing that it's time to, you know, live and and um not forget, but forgive. You know what I mean? And then um maybe that maybe but maybe that um that hangman in reverse maybe got you indecisive about moving on sometimes because maybe your princip your principles are like Telling you, uh, uh maybe that motherfucker they need to pay for what they did to you. That's why that high friend is right next to you. The high friend's a teacher, a high wisdom person, an older man who believes in certain things. You know, believes in certain rules and morals. 
Now, I feel like maybe that's what that is because then you got that Ten of Wands underneath that a hangman that's got like, you know, still holding on um, to certain things and like resentment here. Probably like a little narrow minded about certain shit like, um, you know, still, you get what I mean? Like it, it still hurts. It's still, you know, it's still F them. It's up. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. Ain't nothing wrong with feeling like that uh, at all, Pisces. I hate when people be like, oh, you know, you you holding on to shit. That's grudges. And, uh, I don't believe I don't believe there's anything wrong with holding on to what somebody did to you. It is always it's gonna remind you of what they did. But I, okay, so I take that back. There's nothing wrong with holding on to what somebody did to you as long as it's not hurting you. If you holding on to it and as a reminder, like, I can't fuck with you no more, that's different. But if you're holding on to it, like, I hate them, I want to hurt them, I, I want to wish bad on them, that's different. But if you're holding on to it like a reminder, like, not to mess with them again, that's a difference. I feel like there's nothing wrong with reminding yourself and holding on to what somebody did to you. So now you know not to deal with them again. Now you know not to be around them because they ain't shit. That's when judgment comes out of here in reverse. I feel like maybe you, you're you avoiding this. You know, you're procrastinating on, on, um, on, uh, you know, a uh, uh, recovery here. This could be somebody else's energy. This is probably not even y'all energy, but I'm just saying what it's looking like. This could be anybody's energy, by the way. So don't get up in these comments with your, your bullshit, all right? Because um, tonight's not the night. My allergies are all messed up, but I'm still here doing this reading. And somebody could be kind of destructive right here, maybe placing the blame on themselves and having doubt about certain things. That's probably why that three of swords is right there. Somebody's trying to move on. They trying to forgive. They still having them doubts though. Like, you know what I'm saying? What what could have been done differently? Still holding on right here with this ten of wands. Somebody still got these wands in their back, or they got them in their arms trying to hold on to it, and then they feel like it's about to drop, but they steady holding it on. Maybe that got something to do with some uh some uh some communication that hasn't been done, like unfinished business. That's what it's looking like to me. But it looked like somebody already put the cuffs down and said, I'm out of here and walked away because they disappointed here. They're not feeling that same uh, reciprocation back and they're not they're not feeling like they need to be there. The Eight of Cuffs is a person who feels like they don't need to be there. It's done. Like, I need to probably get up and go because what am I doing here? It's kind of like a waste of time for them. And then you got this page of Pentacles in reverse of somebody that's not like trying to be committal you know this is a lack of commitment this is somebody that's not keeping it real somebody that can't hold hold a commitment somebody that's not who's who's greedy who's lazy who's not trying to put that effort in so we're gonna see what's going on with this three of swords here tell me more about the three of swords this is forgiveness and moving on here somebody's not hurting no more forgiveness and moving on here yeah, page of wands. Okay, so somebody is on the start to something new. They got that fire in them, that Taurus. Uh, Taurus. I'm thinking about that higher thing. They got that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in them. I see the Tower one to come out, but the Three of Pentacles came out first. Some type of game plan. I think of the Three of Pentacles. I think of something being um, uh, collaborated here. Somebody working together, figuring out something here with another person or two other people. Okay, so there's the King of Pentacles here. So maybe this King Ace of Swords is here, some type of truth or, or um, saying something with the with the truth involved in it. I don't know who this person is, but I think uh, there's a there's somebody here that's this, this strong Pentacle energy right here. It's a three and a King right here with the Page of Wands. There could be a Page of Pentacles that wants to come and work or something right here, or wants some time to start a new beginning, and maybe see that you probably forgave them. They probably forgave you. I don't know, but this King of Pentacles is definitely not you. You're not a pentacle. You're water, so you're cups. Let's see what's going on. Your energy is right there, but it's in reverse. And like I said, the hangman in reverse is somebody that's kind of holding back here. They're not going to sacrifice no more. They're probably going to be like kind of narrow. You probably narrow to shit right here. The sun act like it wanted to come out, but it didn't. Like I said, I want to kind of like drop on the cards in order for me to take them. Okay, Nine of Swords right here came out. Um, let me blow my nose, y'all. Okay, Nine of Swords is here. So, Nine of Swords. 
in reverse. Maybe somebody is about to get ready and now I don't know if <coughs> sorry, I don't know if this is <coughs> excuse me. Oh my god. Child, these freaking allergies been acting up all night. That's how I know tonight gonna be a a crazy reading. Um <coughs> So y'all gonna be in the comments like, bless you, bless you. Um, somebody is trying to reach out for help here. Um, the nine of swords, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. <laughs> some probably probably need some help here. Somebody's hoping for something here. They trying to reach out for help. Queen of Swords. Maybe you're not going to help somebody here. Cutting them off. Ace of Swords act like it wanted to slide. I saw that Six of Cups at the bottom before I shift. Seven of Cups. I cannot stand this damn card. She is so ugly on that card. I'm sorry. Um... Somebody confused here. Not the ones with the lovers at the bottom here. Um, somebody that's got cut off here. But somebody trying to reach out for help here. But you narrow to it. I don't think you finna help help this person. But somebody need help. They confused. Okay. Taurus energy. This could be a Taurus. Talk about the higher fuck. Who is this? Or they could have Taurus in their chart. Tell me more about this higher fuck male. This seems like somebody older here. Temperance with that Queen of Wands wanted to come out. Somebody independent here. Look, I don't want a bunch of cards, okay? I want one. Thank you. Two of one. Somebody's uh, deciding on something here. What is somebody deciding on? Is it decision making? Ten of cups, some type of home. Another cup. Santa Cup's family. They lost their family here. Somebody avoiding somebody. The high priest is avoiding somebody. Not talking to somebody here. Somebody could be trapped here. In their thoughts, in their mind. So it could be somewhat detrimental to their health too. Because I did see that ten of swords at the bottom as well. Somebody in decision making here, somebody has like a strong belief about maybe coming back with some type of message or reconciliation with this two of wands about their family or their home or something that they miss. This could have been a one uh, uh, a one family house with a bunch of people. And I see like uh, five people here, three kids and a husband and a wife. And there's a girl right here. I don't know what the hell she holding. I don't know what that is, but she's walking. But there's a person in back of her while she's walking, like some type of loss. Five of Pentacles is a loss. Somebody could have lost their job hard times. Talk about judgment being in reverse here. Somebody's not taking ownership to their calling. Could be blaming themselves. Okay, so who is this? Blaming themselves. Yep, with the tower being here because the tower is hitting them hard here. It's a sudden change. Something happened to them. Something has something to do with a marriage or a home or a family. You know, somebody could be trying to come back because something happened somewhere else. I'm getting that too. Yeah, King of Cups. 
So this is you, um, Pisces male. Someone right here is thinking about the marriage and the love and the celebration. Good times and um, chopping it up with you with this wand energy, the communication. Um, it was probably a lot of um, conversations about celebrating and going out. Some right here with the tower. All this is just coming down, though. The way it's coming down, it's not coming down slow for this person or whoever it is. Or somebody is, is missing fun stuff with you. I don't know what it is or what y'all did, but it was not boring. It don't look like this was boring. Like it was a lot of fun here. Because it was a family, a home or something right here. Somebody's in decision making, though. The King of Cups here with this Four of Wands. Could have been married to this person. You could have been married to a King of Cups too, Pisces female. Or was dealing with another. Uh, see that devil act like he wanted to uh, uh, flip over right here in my hand. Hopefully his ass don't come out tonight. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. <clears throat> Somebody holding on. Yeah. They trying to hold on to all these damn um, wands here. They about to drop all of that shit up out their hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's still people that be trying to hold on to a bunch of shit, and they needed a. They need all. They know they need a basket, and they at the store holding on to all them damn groceries. This is what this person looked like. Oh, a damn fool holding on to a bunch of things in their hand, about to drop it. They holding on to their little four dollars here too. Use my mic on their last dime here. We don't have no income coming in. These both popped out and I'm not taking them. Because I only want one. Child, that woman is so ugly. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cover her up. She gave me the heebie-jeebies, okay? Four of Pentacles. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Knight of Pentacles. Somebody here not good with their money. Yeah. Like, I did not just say somebody hold on to their last $4 here. Somebody said I'm clairvoyant. I really do appreciate you. Yeah, I be feeling energy. Clairvoyant people are people who, who kind of predict things in, in their readings and stuff or, or, or who know things, you know, speaking on things, you know, when they see it. So... Yeah, I don't know. This um, this person. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I sense things. You know, I sense things very quick, like supernatural, basically. And I really do um appreciate that comment that somebody had put. Just, I just thought about it right now. Yeah, I perceive things. And the future beyond, beyond other people's, um, you know, normal ability. I could see shit. That's basically what clairvoyant is. Somebody who can seek supernatural shit, but beyond other people's visions. They could see shit more. So, I I have, I, I see shit, you know, I know. And I that's why sometimes when I be uh, doing these readings, I be like, I, I slip up and I be like, damn, I just said that. Remember when I had said, and the card had popped up around that time or whatever, I knew that shit was coming. Or I always tell you, we're going to see the so-and-so tonight and we end up seeing it. I'm, I'm never, you know, never not wrong, but there's times I am wrong. Um, So right here, somebody here is like, like I said, they only holding on to their little $4 here. Somebody don't really have no money. Two of Pentacles here at Hermit. Somebody may be trying to come back to you for a money offer. I'm seeing that too. Like somebody really do need some help with some money here. Like they actually need like a, like a loan or something here. Or they need help paying a phone bill or paying half of their rent. Somebody may need uh, help with their car note too. Because somebody might have like a car note they ain't paid yet. Which is crazy to me because how the hell you got a car and you ain't paying the car note on it? But you thought it was cool to get a new car. So somebody here is just not, yeah. They're not good with money here. And I'm starting to see that. I've been seeing that too. And y'all reading this too. That somebody here was never good with money. So they always have problems with it. Talk about the Eight of Wands. 
that could also have ruined this relationship too. Talk about the messages that are finna get sent. A page of cups crossing here. So somebody, two of cups wanted to come out. All right, you could be dealing with another water sign here, a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. Somebody here could be kind of like um, immature, got a crush on you, though, here. Somebody's willing to reconcile. Somebody's going to be reaching out to you, Pisces. This person... Uh, like they younger. This could be somebody at y'all job too, because I'm seeing pinnacles here. And that's work related as well. Ace of Cups, some new love here. I see the four of cups don't want that devil. Somebody might want a renewal here. a lot of love here somebody finna be sending you some like some real heavy sensitive oh yes yeah, so it's heavy somebody finna be all up in your ass with this love message that they finna send you they finna be very passionate when they come reach back out or whoever this new person is it's like there's a new person here You may respond back to this person slow, though, with that chariot cancer energy. Because maybe you closing out a cycle right here with this wheel of fortune. Chariot in reverse. That's a fast card right here. And um, look like you about to get in replying back to this person. So because you and your seven of pentacles here, you probably don't want to talk to this person like that for real, for real. Because you worried about your bag and growth. Seven of Pentacles is growth. Building up a foundation for yourself. Involving your money. Queen of Pentacles right here with the page. So whoever this page of Pentacles is, this person is a little immature. They see you as this queen. Let me tell you something. A page and a queen do not go together. It's just as worse as a knight and a, uh, a, knight and a queen or a knight, a uh, princess. And a um a, a knight, uh, like a knight or um, it's just as worse as being with the knight. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Queens and knights and kings, they don't go together like that. <laughs> In my opinion, they don't. Queens and kings belong together. So whoever this person is, they're a page. They're coming off as a page. You might see a knight energy here too. You already saw that knight of pentacles here. You might see another nine. See that Queen of Wands, somebody here is independently moving by themselves. Doing everything by themselves. That's the, the purpose of being independent, doing everything by yourself. You know, you got people who claim they're independent and not independent. But I'm for sure right here, you independent here. I don't think nobody's right here in your way. Pisces male, Pisces female. I don't see nobody here stepping in your way when it comes down to your money. I don't think that's going to happen. These keep on trying to pop out, not not taking them. Only want one. One, please. There you go. Yes, yeah, somebody from the past is going to creep back up in here. A six of cups. Strong water here. It's a lot of water up in here. Y'all could be dealing with another uh, Pisces as well, like I said. Mm-mm-mm. Two Pisces together is hell, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, man. Six of Cups. Talk about it. Who is this person from the past? Talk to us about this person from the past, please. 
Yep, did not say we was going to see a knight again. There go that knight of swords. This person is a knight page energy. They come rushing. So this person about to come in, rushing in from a long journey of somewhere else that they was at here. So they might have been somewhere else here. Um, <laughs> You know. Yeah, somebody else was somewhere else. They see you as the nine of cups. They may not be able to sleep right here with the four of swords. Maybe need to go to bed or something right here. I don't think you've been losing no sleep, though, with this four of swords. You've probably been, you know, restless and getting y'all sleep. She's in her bed. She got all her swords up, resting, finding the truth in her dreams. Nine of cups. This is independent right here. This is... This is real, this is some real, I could do bad by myself energy. I'm loving this shit. I am, I'm loving this. It's like somebody is still trying to, excuse me, steady trying to come in the loop, but you're not paying attention to this person. Tell me who this King of Pentacles is, this knight, this new love. I ain't worried about why they ass is broke. But you got like, you got like, um, you got a King of Cups. Like I said, that's y'all energy though. Five. Somebody, like I said, somebody holding on. Somebody confused about something, though. I want to find out what they're confused about, even though her ugly ass get on my nerve. I hate that damn card. You know, certain cards, us tarot readers, we can't show y'all. They be like, you know, too explicit. Explicit. Or, you know, um, you know, um, some certain cards we just don't like using because either they too old or I like using my old cards or they just, some of them just be looking kind of crazy, like. I got some tarot cards. They be looking kind of crazy. I be like, Ugh. I'm like the fuck. Okay, so who's confused here with this seven of cups? Cause somebody's confused about something. Who's confused here? And under illusions here, can't seem to figure something out here. Something is like bothering, and they got a bunch of options here. But a lot of the options. Um, they trying to figure out on what, what it is that they need to do, but somebody could be confused about the options. What's going on? Who's confused here? A five of cups in reverse. <clears throat> I don't know. This could be y'all too. Hold on. Let me flip these cards over. Something about a five of cups in reverse. So somebody is trying to get over past past um past pain here. Now I don't know if this is you or somebody else, and then it came out in reverse, so it could, you know what, and then somebody could just be finding peace here. Whatever they was confused about, they find in peace. Oh no. Somebody here is trying to find some peace here. Okay, who is this? This is, yeah, this is you getting recognized here. This is you. This is your energy. Let me see something here. I 
think you, yeah, you, whatever you was confused about here, it's not like that no more. It's, this is moving on energy here because you got an attention other places here. So this got something to do with some new love here. I think it's getting to the point where it's just like, you're okay with it. People keep on blowing up my damn phone. So I got personals after this, but I guess it's every night before I got to go to work. It's like, come on. Now. Ace of Cups. And these ain't even y'all that be asking for the personal reasons. People that I know too. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, something about money and love about to get ready and come in your lap here. Damn, you came a long way. This is good. I'm just sitting here looking at these cards like, damn, this is growth right here. This is real life growth. I see Strand Leo energy wanting to pop out. So it's about to be a lot of new stuff coming your way here. Because you, you deserve it now. Empress. Yep, this is your energy right here. Damn. Some of y'all may be having a baby, too. The next person y'all meet, y'all may end up having a child. Ace of Cups is also, um, you know, a proposal. Empress is a woman who's um a mother. So, Wow. Emperor energy too. Very like a lot of strength here. Pisces female, Pisces male. You guys got like you guys are looking good as hell. That's why the six of wands is right above y'all because there's people that are looking at y'all. Emperor, Empress. There's a lot of people looking at y'all. Y'all forgave and not holding back no more. Moving on, getting to y'all money. Whatever y'all was confused about, I ain't gotta be confused no more because there's new love here. Y'all ain't got to sit up in here and worry about the past no more. You deserve it. Talk about the Knight of Swords. Who's this Knight of Swords? Somebody that's coming in very fast. The Nine of Pentacles. They want the Nine of Pentacles. They want comfort. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that's enjoying their fruits of labor. Just like the Nine of Cups. They want comfort. Oh, yeah. This is somebody that needs some help. Wants you to help them. Six of Pentacles. This strong pinnacle energy. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I got the Emperor right here. This person could have been an Emperor too, or this is you, Pisces male. That's the Emperor, and there's an Empress. So, all right. So, talk more about this King of Pentacles. Strong pinnacle energy here. Somebody needs some type of help. Yeah. Look, Queen of Cups. This this King of Pentacles. Or a queen of pentacles sees you as the king, queen of cups. Well, shit. Tell us more. I see the sun. They see you as happiness. Whoever this pentacle energy is. This Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person. Because this is you. Switch the roles, Pisces male. This is you, king of cups. And you got a queen of pentacles here. Pisces female, you're the queen of cups. You got a king of pentacles here that's looking at you. Look at how this king is looking at this queen, though. He looking at her like, wow, you look so good. And she just sitting on that couch. Then I tell y'all kings and queens go together. Look at that. They right next to each other. Ain't that about something? Tell us more about this king and queen. There's strength here, and then nine of cups, but we only gonna take one. But those two wanted to come out. Tell us more about this king and queen. One, please, angels and ancestors. Hope and faith. Something new here with the ace of wands. There's somebody that's about to be coming in right here with the world. It's gonna be a, a, a king of pentacles here. This person is thinking about you right here. Or a queen of pentacles here. Pisces, you know, you got a female, a queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that want to come into you, king. Right here with the hope and healing energy. It's something about some type of faith. 
they believe in something here. They trying to hold on to the faith and want to work something out here. We're going to the stars for help here. Let me see some. I'm going to go on to my mystic love deck. This is what they look like, y'all. You're going to see what's going on. They're not in reverse, so let's see. Tell us something, Mystic Love Deck. Come on, Mystic Love Deck. No. Oh, my God. My phone just going off and off. I'm going to pull four. Tell me about this situation. This could be somebody from your, uh, your past. This could be somebody from the present time right now. Or it's going to be somebody in the future. So let's see what's going on. Somebody hoping and wishing for something. Somebody could be distant. For somehow this could be the past person. They could be distant away from you right now. And they just hoping and praying that you come back. Or looking at you. Somebody looking at you. That, um, you know, that female... Queen or male uh, pinnacles looking at y'all and praying and hoping and wishing for something. You just sitting on your couch, king, queen, enjoying yourself by yourself. Tell me more about this situation here with this king and this queen. One, spiritual awakening. Somebody coming to realizations about something here. Some type of spiritual awakening. New love, yeah. Renewed hope. That's what I was saying. This person could very well be new. This is going to be somebody new coming towards y'all. I saw a non-committal independent. That's y'all. Didn't I say that? Somebody's non-committal earlier. Secret admirer, timid, yeah, somebody's admirer. <laughs> Ooh, you got somebody that like you, Pisces. Yeah. They, they want to mess with you. Home, foundation, yep. Inspiration, you inspire this person here. Damn, I'm loving this. Y'all got somebody new coming. Or this could be somebody from the past. This could be somebody right now that you're talking to. <laughs> <coughs> Damn. Ooh, we. Tell me more about this king and this queen, please, with the yin yang oracle. Go in with those. The past, lack and suffering, somebody, yeah, hold on. Tell me more. Somebody's taking care of their self-care here. Sound like you, some type of unity transcending here. I seen rebirth winner. I seen some spying too. And we've been seeing spying with y'all for the past couple of days. The motherfuckers talking about y'all saying anybody's spying, honey. We've been seeing spying for the past couple of days. Present gratitude. Didn't I say something about somebody in present time? Cars don't lie now. And neither do I. I ain't got time to lie. So yes, it could be somebody present. That's coming towards y'all. That's going to be coming now, you know? So, 
present time is now. So let me go on to with these real quick. See what these got to say. <sighs> We've been seeing, I've been seeing or, origin a lot. Maybe I got some type of girl, somebody growing something. Self-love. Yep, you all about self-love. You embracing yourself. You you loving on yourself. Y'all looking good, too, man. I'm so proud of y'all, Pisces. Y'all looking so good, bro. There's some good stuff here. I saw eight. We only want one. Somebody withdrawing, though. Guilt awakening here. May face, face some type of rejection from you because you're loving on yourself. Something about okay in an idea. Yeah, I saw, remember we saw aid. Aid came out again. Somebody wants some uh, mercy, some kindness. They need some help. I did say that. I said somebody need help, you know, um. They on their last dollar or something. They just need help. I seen stress, lack of sleep. Somebody probably, like I said, somebody can't sleep. Thinking about you, I guess. This could be just a new person you know, you're dealing with. And maybe something really happened kind of quick or whatever. I seen stop wanted to come out. One more, please. So as I said, one more, three more came out. Angels and ancestors, one more, please. Now y'all just playing. One more, please. Thank you. Death. I did see death too. Um, harm. You know, somebody probably could be overload. Somebody could be working themselves to death. Because Overload is somebody that's working too much. That card. <laughs> um, We're going to go on with the true emotion. I see feeling like shit right here. Fucked up over you, losing sleep, worrying, overplaying events, thinking about you. Yeah, somebody's not sleeping. I already had said somebody having, um, maybe they want to have reckless sex with you again. Y'all probably got freaky and shit. A lot. It's kind of wild with it. They true colors came out. You closing this cycle once again. Somebody fucked up over you. We gonna get into it with the naked truth, okay? And we gonna see what's going on with that. <laughs> Please don't block, block me. Yeah, that's me calling you from an unknown number. Y'all might have been getting them unknown number calls. You know? These are just slipping out. Ooh. We gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. Mm -hmm. Pull four. One, please. Angels and ancestors, one. And then every time I ask for one, y'all get it. <laughs> I saw, I'm tired of the uh, silence, uh, the silent treatment. I want to sit down and talk to you in person or something like that. That's what that said. I look at my phone every day hoping I will see a message from you. All right. 
They want a message. You didn't put up with any of my shit. You crushed my big ass ego, but that made me respect you even more. Damn. Two. And I know that's right. You are so smart. You have me figured out. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm seeing the synchronicities. It's driving me insane. And in a sense right here, I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. I miss making love to you. I would do anything just to hold you again. You are different from the rest. They didn't mean anything to me. I only want you. I love variety, but there's just something about you I can't resist. I love variety, but there's something about you I can't resist. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't got my damn glasses so. on. I'm far in here, sorry. Okay. That's how I feel because I can't see shit even up close or far. Away. All right. So, um, yeah, that's how they feel. I wanted to pull those two because I wanted to see, you know, what else they wanted to say. Well,. Somebody love them some you. We gonna get into it with an angel card. This could be somebody new in y'all life, you know, and they feel this way. This could be somebody from the past in y'all life, and they feel some this feel this type of way. We gonna get into it with an angel card, and we gonna do a Bible scripture card, and we gonna be out this thing, y'all, because my allergies are getting worse. I feel like they about to. Speak up again. And for some of y'all that be trying to correct me with these cards, don't do that. We're doing tarot since I was in high school. I know what these cards mean. I know what the other Oracle love cards mean. Only nobody telling me nothing. Don't be up on here trying to correct me and nothing like that. If I didn't know what these cards mean, my ass wouldn't be on here right now. I shouldn't be on here if I didn't know what they meant. So that's why y'all here, because y'all know I don't be playing. I know what I'm doing. And I opened my first deck of cards. First one I got passed down to me through my grandmother. I held them cards at the age of 13. It was like, yeah, this is it. Then I got my very own deck that I purchased on my own. After the one she passed down to me, I wanted a second deck. And I studied them cards front to back, all both decks. <laughs> So wisdom has been passed down here. I don't need nobody up in here in these comments trying to act like they know shit. If you want to do your own tarot channel, you go do it. I wish y'all the best. I, I want to see everybody make money. I don't want to see everybody get spiritually connected. But don't come on here trying to tell me anything about my channel. This is my shit, not yours. We're going to go into it with some angel cards. I'm just being real. So let's see what's going on. See what the angels want to say. What do you want to say? No to what? And it's saying yes at the bottom. So it's no and yes. I don't know. Angels go. Conf Y'all confusing us. Give us a Bible scripture card. Be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. You guys make people comfortable. You guys have good faith. Don't lose it. Plus, I really did enjoy this reading, you know. There's somebody here that loves you and misses you. And they see how independent, how beautiful you are. And that's not just one person. It's other people that are celebrating and seeing how you have overcame and you've been through a lot. This is all a renewal. I'm loving the changes, new things. Better lifestyle, good money. I'm loving it for y'all. Till next time, Pisces. Bye.